book do you want to, what title? Yeah, skepticism and Animal Faith. Skepticism and Animal Faith. So what's, what's remarkable or insightful? What's significant about this book? I mean, are we on now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I first read Skepticism and Animal Faith as, as a graduate student, and it was um, the book I had chosen for my textual analysis exam. I'd already read The Life of Reason, at least parts of it, in the one-volume edition, and Santiana was interesting to me, but this book, um, uh, which I had to read several times, I mean, it really, it, it got to me in uh, a way that here was someone who was writing so beautifully and yet clearly uh, about philosophic topics, which at that, by that point I had become much more familiar with, having, uh, uh, it was my third or fourth year of graduate work. And I think the, the two things uh, struck me uh, about it. One, it was the book that persuaded me that it was possible to have a uh, completely naturalistic interpretation of the world and still have a great appreciation for religion, for the products of the imagination, for poetry, art, uh, and that they, uh, they had not just a minor place but a significant place. And uh, the, the place where I realized that the latter part of that, the importance of the imagination, was when Santayana carries Descartes' method of skepticism and pushes it past Descartes' point and says, I can even deny my own existence. But all that I'm left with is this idea or image, which Santayana calls an essence, that at that point, he says, but this doesn't exist. And that moment was the moment when he says the imagination is now free to entertain any of the ideas that come to it without being committed to their existence. And that was a moment of really great liberation to realize that you can, you can realize, you can not be deluded, you can realize that something uh, does not exist and still look at it, entertain it, find out what it means uh, and, and what it says about yourself, about your culture, um, and, and human life in general. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> you mentioned the life of reason. Yeah. What's the impression that that book made on you? Two lines. Oh. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean there's, there's, I can't give two lines on <laughs> because it was a book that I keep coming back to over in parts over, you know, um, many periods of time. When I first read it, I read it in a course in conjunction with Hegel's Phenomenology, in which uh, Santayana was used as the foil to Hegel's Phenomenology, which is a very good choice. But I was think, I think I was too young to appreciate. Um, how good a choice it was at the time. So the life of reason was, uh, I read it in fits and starts, and uh, I, I found some parts of it interesting, but I really didn't get it. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, leave the longer comment to some other time. All right.